hey guys how are you so i'm in the car and i was about to drive off and the holy spirit literally just spoke to me about something that i posted i posted a word literally about breaking generational cycles breaking generational curses and the lord really just establishing your footsteps and taking you to your next level and breaking generational curses is a purpose alone like we have a lot of purpose but that is a huge purpose alone because that is something that's going to change the generations to come so after I posted that word, I was about to drive off and stuff. And the Lord just spoke to me about, I don't know who you are, but this is timely for you because either you said this before you saw that video or you said this after you saw that video or this may have been like something that has been sitting on your chest and something that you have been praying about to God. But the Lord just spoke to me for you and he literally just said that you are not too old to break generational curses and cycles, okay? And it doesn't matter what you what you did in your past. It doesn't matter how you felt in your past. It doesn't matter if you participate in certain cycles in the past. You have a chance, as long as you wake up today and you wake up you know, to start a new day, you have the chance to change. You're not too old. You, you don't ever think you're too old to make changes in life. Don't ever think you're too old to learn anything. Do you get what I'm saying? Like God does not put an age when it comes to when you receive wisdom and how you receive wisdom. God can give you wisdom and new wisdom at any age. It doesn't matter how old you are. I know that sometimes when you're battling certain cycles, you're battling certain patterns. Yes, certain things in your life that you may not have had knowledge about or the wisdom about but that does not mean that you can't learn later on and sometimes yes not having wisdom and not having knowledge about certain things because you may have had the blindfold on for a very long time or you may have been stuck in certain patterns and cycles that may have caused you to really look past these red flags but let me tell you something even though that may have caused you delays in your life and you may not be able to go backwards and change things or you may not be able to still achieve certain things remember what I said God has more than one purpose for you just because you may not have been able to achieve something does not mean that God doesn't have a plan for you that does not mean that God doesn't have a new door a new chapter that's going to open for you God will have something for you okay understand that all right so don't ever think it's you're too old to change this or this no it's too late no it's not too late Yes, there may have been delays. Yes, there's certain things in life that you can't go back to. There's certain things in life that you're like, you know what? There's no point in me doing this. But the Lord will have a plan for you. Best believe that. The Lord will establish you. Best believe that. As long as you continue to stay upright, as long as you're willing to learn and you are not ignoring knowledge, you are willing to receive knowledge, you're willing to receive wisdom from God, and you are not limiting God, let me tell you something. God will make a way for you. God will open a new door for you. God will continue to write the chapters in your life. God will bring breakthroughs in for you. You have to understand that God is going to purify you. God is going to purify your spirit. God is going to purify your mind. God is going to purify your soul. God is going to purify you from the cycles of your bloodline. You're not too old to learn. You're not too old to change. You're not too old for any of that. So don't say this about yourself, okay? Have faith in God and know that God can do this for anybody. And there is no age. There is no limit on when you're going to receive wisdom, how you're going to receive wisdom, when you're going to change, and how you're going to change. As long as you're upright and you are genuinely loyal to God, He will make this happen for you. He will make a way for you. Okay? Whew, thank you, Holy Spirit. I had to get this out to someone. I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.